Well, viewers, we're here backstage at Madison Square Garden with none other than 2011 Chutney Soka Monarch King Ricky Jai. You just opened up at Madison Square Garden. I know you must be feeling on top of the world for that. Of course, of course. I'm happy to represent Chutney Soka music uh, for the first time um, at, Chut um, at Madison Square Garden. You know, it was a dream of mine to be at Radio City and um, Carnegie Hall and Madison Square Garden. You know, these are big, big venues for any entertainer. And uh, I've hit one. So I still have Radio City. I still have um, Carnegie Hall. I'm going to have to go on the top of Radio City Hall because I don't think that's um, around again. But just go and shoot a video or something on top of it. But um, Madison Square Garden. Woods. Can't describe. Yeah. Did you ever yeah. think yeah. that Chutney music would make it this far? Uh, yeah, I've, I've always believed that, um, you know, if you believe in something that, uh, you know, you can, you have the power to take it where you want to take it. And uh, over the years, you know, I've, I've, I've been working very hard at my craft and there have been a lot of young guys coming out recently. And I have to say big up to Big Rich, uh, who has done a lot of work changing the whole style of the music and bringing it more, um, I would say, uh, mainstream for a lot more people to love and, and, and enjoy. And, um, you know, 20 years after Sumintra to be here in Madison Square Garden, the sky's the limit. There's so, really no, there's really no, um, no, no limit to where you can really no go. No limit to where you can go. Yeah. So, Ricky, tell me, what inspires you as a singer? I, I just love what I do. You love what you do. I just love what I do. I've, I've tried to be a taxi driver, uh, a painter, a carpenter, a construction worker. Uh, you know, I've tried many, 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 you know, jobs just to earn a living. And um, I just decided one day, you know what? What I love most is what should really uh, take care of me and my family. And um, I, I used to have a regular job in Trinidad. I, I chucked that job in, okay. and I, 1996, I went full into music. It, 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 it wasn't an easy thing, but um, I, I, looking back, I have no regrets. It, it's, it's really about doing what you love. If you love journalism, then you've got to give your heart and soul into journalism. If you love music, you've got to give everything into it. And that's what I do. I, I go to sleep at night thinking about music. I get up in the morning thinking, thinking about music. About music. Mm -hmm. um, on the plane, I'm writing on the little bags, you know, those little bags that they put there for in case. I'm writing, writing songs on that. Um, in restaurants, I'm writing songs on napkins. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's an eat, uh, live, breathe kind of syndrome for me where music is concerned. Okay, excellent. How does it feel, again, what is it, the sixth time winning the Chutney Soka Monarch? I think I feel what less twice. Well, the song goes, I feel like I win, you know, I just win a million dollars. So I, that's, that was one what less. And then if you win it two million, then that's two what less. So I feel like I win it, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling what less. less two times. Yes. <laughs> no, but um, it, it, it's, um, it's a great feeling. I, you know, it was a, a moment that I will remember. I remember the first time I won the competition and it was mind blowing. And I, I was, you know, uh, um, lack of air and oxygen and everything on the air almost fainted away and um, you know I haven't won that competition since 2003 okay so for me it's been a long road back to uh, to, to, to the you know winners row the top of winners row and um, you know winning it uh, with with the prize at uh, two million you know uh, top of the world top of the world top yeah, of the there's, there's nothing much more to really uh, come close to that right now maybe later on but not right now. I heard that you said if you were to win the Chutney Soka Monarch again, six times, viewers, yeah. that you weren't going for it again. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. I said that. Um, I said I wasn't going to go back. Um, we're actually going to concentrate on, um, you know, winning the Calypso Monarch now because okay. that's a title that's kind of eluded me for a while. I've, I've been there. I've tasted how it feels to be in the final uh, 12 um, on Dimash Granite. And now I want to go back and I want to take that crown. I want to really and truly be the first East Indian uh, Trinidadian to win the Calypso Monarch. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Now, any collaborations in the future with anyone you're thinking of? Definitely, definitely. We have. Um, I'm going to be doing some collaborations with some young, unknown people from Trinidad. Okay. Uh, because I've, I've said it once, I've said it twice. You know, the young people are the way forward, and um, I'm going to see how best I can, you know, harness some of the talent and guide them, and you know, bring bring a couple of them up to up to speed. Because we have a lot of people out there doing a lot of stuff which is not up to speed and is not up to uh, where the music and their vocal ability and everything else should be. And, um, you know, I, I think I have a lot to offer. You. Yeah, I think I have a lot to offer. I see a lot of great um, gifted um, guys and girls out there, but there's nobody to, to really guide them and tell them, okay, don't do this, do this. 
you, you know right. so that's that's my that's my focus in addition to you know for them my own uh, my own career okay awesome now Ricky where can we see you in the next five to ten years well hopefully um, you know I'll still be on stage yeah God's willing uh, good health and strength and everything else I'll still be You'll on stage make it to Radio City. I'll make it to I'll make it to the other venues that are you know if they're still around I'll make it to those venues or I'll make it to the venues that are um, you know popular of the day uh, but I'll, I you know I still want to be on stage I, I don't want to come off the stage I, I just love being the entertainer that I am and I love doing the music that I do and um, I'm not gonna stop you know I'm not gonna stop this is this is what is gonna take me straight to God awesome never again I know you're about to go up on stage again and yeah. just kill it kill it here <laughs> at Madison Square Garden could you give me a little piece of what you're gonna sing on stage definitely definitely well you know the first part of the show um, you know it was really you know the, the, the new way of Chutney Soka but you know I, I I come from the old school so when I go back on stage I'll be giving you Lawa milan ke parusin gare gaile parusin gare gaile parusin gare gaile ho sab auratiyan sab auratiyan sab auratiyan sindur lagai sindur lagai sindur lagai mor tor mor tor we got a mash up Madison Square Garden you don't know that <laughs> All right let's talk with Lakshmi viewers you heard it first right here Ricky Jai backstage Madison Square Garden real chutney I don't see the real history. The first two million dollar man in Trinidad and Tobago. You know who that man was? Give me this song.
Say, me yours, I'll show you mine. Give me yours, but you can't get mine. Hey, yo, this is Marshall Montano HD, and you're watching Let's Talk with Lash Me. Ha! Hi, this is Calypso Rose, Her Majesty, and right now, we are on Let's Talk to Lunch Me. Hey, 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 let's talk with Lashmi. Lashmi said it so, right, okay. I believe it. Okay.